Good evening, everyone. How are you? I hope everyone's doing well. And I hope people will tune in and watch this wonderful trio at this wonderful space, uh, the 1905, the best jazz club in Portland. And uh, we are soldiering on despite um, the struggles, besides the complications, the challenges. So I'm very happy to be here. And of course, thanks to everybody at Left Door Streaming. We couldn't do it, literally could not do it without you. And this is incredible production here. So I thank you guys for setting all this stuff up. I know, I know, I know how it is to set up gear, and this must take you a long time. So, um, and of course, I want to introduce our trio. I'm George Collian, of course, and uh, on bass uh, we have uh, originally from Montana. What? Right? No. I mean, all over the place. Uh, most recently in my free adult life was Spokane. Oh, that's right. Sorry, I get those confused. <laughs> Spokane. So he's originally from Spokane, but oh, I'm hearing I'm hearing something in my monitor. Oh, that's gone. Okay. <clears throat> originally from Spokane and now lives in West Lynn. With his lovely wife. Please say hello to Eric Gruber on the bass. It should also be noted that Eric Gruber is a graduate of Portland State University, where I teach currently. So we are proud of all our graduates. I'm so glad I was even, there you. Even Eric. Yes. <laughs> You're glad you were there before me. I'm totally kidding. Oh, smiling under here. we could come back. Could I? We need a GTA, I, actually. I man, I would just I'd run you into the ground. <laughs> Be like, man, I need what? Yeah. This is a this latte. Get me another latte. <laughs> <laughs> That's what our GTAs do. You got to teach classes. Get me lattes. <laughs> just joking, of course. And on the drums, originally from Chicago. Do you say um, pop or soda? Uh, soda. Really. I thought in the South it was a Coca-Cola, some weird stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, I'm comfortable with either. Okay, I'll, I'll remember that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, from, from Chicago, please say hello to Michael Rayner. And uh, this trio, we did a bunch of stuff this summer when it was warm and we were all outside and distancing and all that stuff, and we, we had a ball playing twice a week, and we really developed a rapport. And that rapport is totally gone now because we haven't played any gigs. <laughs> But actually, I think the rapport is still there. It, we'll, we're going to be remembering it as we go. Oh, yeah, this is, this is what it feels like. So uh, we're going to start with uh, one of our favorite jazz standards. This is called Alone Together. And uh, just want to mention that you know, we are working for with, you know, you, you can support us uh, by uh, sending money to my uh, PayPal or my Venmo. And uh, I don't know if I gave you that information, but do you, have, you don't have it from before, do you? It's you on have the screen, it? Too. Oh, yeah. fantastic. All right. Well, I don't have to. And we appreciate it. So, and of course, we'll be reading your comments at some point. Um, we have new music, of course. We're going to get, this is a time I'd like to get a little bit warmed up, okay? So I'm, I, can't, I can't remember the last gig that I actually played. So, um, what's, what is Treble Clef again? That starts what? <laughs>
Thank you very much. Alone together. Again. It's like every Zoom meeting. <laughs> we're together, but we're alone. So we got some new tunes for you here. Uh, and we're going to start with, uh, this is a bunch of tunes that I wrote uh, around the holiday season. And, you know, unfortunately, uh, some of my, you know, um, immediate family is not with me anymore. So, of course, I have my wife and two kids. So that's, I really consider that my family. I have some relatives in Virginia. Um, but uh, just sort of thinking about some of the people that I don't get to talk to anymore. And this song is called Thanksgiving. I hope you enjoy it.
Thank you so much. That was called Thanksgiving. Uh, written by yours truly. And got some more tunes for you that uh, I've only really played by myself. So we, we had no rehearsal. Uh, we're just very, very professional. <laughs> so um, any interesting comments yet? Is anybody watching? Yeah, you got about a... Uh 60, 60 people watching right now. Man, that's like a full house. That's, that's, a full house. that's sold out in jazz. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's over capacity. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the four letter equivalent to Carnegie Hall. <laughs> My lord. Looks like there's a lot of love for all three of you up there. So now that w well, now wait a minute. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, any 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 comments stand out to you? Because I can't see them at all. Oh, Actually, really? is that uh, is that what this is for? Let me put on my glasses. Yeah, that's what that. Uh, Nori, of course. Nori Gruber is Eric's wife. Uh, Ryan Mars says he's working on your album right now while he's listening to you play. So. I see. Oh uh, well, yeah. I have a, so I have a, uh, a record coming out on the PJCE label uh, in uh, February. I want to say 26. I'm doing a live stream from Randy Porter's studio, and this is a project where I I play drums on this project, and the the band is called Theoretical Planets. And it features Nicole McCabe, Joe Manis, um, Noah um, Simpson, John Lakey. Uh, for this the live stream, we're going to have a special guest uh, a vocalist named Anna Meyer. And uh, so the, the record, was we did it a year ago, over a year ago, as a matter of fact. And then COVID hit, so I sort of forgot. <laughs> but we decided to put it out. So so look out for that. I, ca I can't see because my... my Oh yeah, George Manley likes your masks. He so likes the thanks. full range of masks. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah, that's what I have. Yeah, yeah. I, I and I'm double it. mask. Yeah, I mean that's, that's unbelievable. Yeah, we're 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 like that. Let's continue. Uh, I have a tune that is inspired by current events, and it's called American Farce, and you could probably. <laughs> Probably guess was that's what that's about. Could be about a lot of things. Here we go. American farce.
So that was American Farce, a new tune by me, <coughs> inspired by current events. And uh, we're going to continue now. This is another new tune that I wrote. Uh, you know, sometimes if you write a lot of music, you get to the point where you're like, did I write this before? <laughs> or you don't even remember how you wrote it or if it's actually, like, I like uh, 
you know, UV Blake, when he was 100 years old, he would say, uh, that's a nice tune. Did I write that? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm almost getting, <laughs> getting to that point mentally. Um, so this is called Familiar Terrain. Hope you enjoy it.
Thank you very much. Still, still got some people. Yeah, you bet. We're still at sixty. We're actually we're at sixty-five now, so we've gained a few. Wow, so awesome. Mike and Debbie Ray said, "Great music. Thanks for doing this." They hey, wrote, Mike and Debbie, they how y'all really doing? Not hearing you live. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Monkey Man, which I believe is Brent G. He says, uh, you, the colligan right hand is a musical weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <Yeah. laughs> uh, Mike Clark just chimed in, wants to know who the bassist and drummer are. Uh, well, the bass player is Eric Gruber, and the drummer is Michael Rayner. And uh, Mike, I miss you. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're hanging in there. Hope you're still doing those single strokes, <laughs> double strokes. Um, it's a bad dude. Yeah. Nicole McCabe says, sounds fantastic. Oh, Nicole, what does she know? <laughs> Went to Portland State for all, <laughs> for, for crying out loud. <laughs> Nicole McCabe was one of my students. And uh, now she's in Los Angeles becoming a superstar. So we're so happy about that. David, I thought the 65 people means you have to pay taxes on this. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he said? Well, Dave, I just spoke to David when I was driving here, so <laughs> David always likes to chime in. He's uh, probably my oldest friend from Columbia, Maryland. Um, great bass player, and he's an educator now. And uh, also an incredible cyclist. I think he's going to enter the Tour de France pretty soon. Yeah. It's just biking. He'll bike from Brooklyn to Montauk. It's incredible. Um, so that last piece, uh, so uh, as we were playing, I said to myself, you know, this song would be perfect for a drum solo, but we didn't rehearse, as I mentioned. No rehearsal. And I was like, how can I get a drum solo to happen? So sometimes yelling across the yell bandstand yeah, right. is a, a very, you know, in fact, I think I'm going to have a Zoom class on that. How to yell across the bandstand. With the mask. <laughs> yeah, right, with the mask on. You're not yelling loud enough. <laughs> Gotta yell. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, because the thing is, I just said, I'm just going to yell across the stage. Otherwise, we would have had to plan a rehearsal. I'd have to drive over to Michael's house. We'd have to rehearse. Oh, so what do you want there? I just want you to play a solo. <laughs> we don't need to rehearse. This is jazz. Um, let's continue now. I have a new tune. I know it says on the chart, Mood of the Room. This is called The Tone of the Room. And so I know some of you uh, listeners out there are very sophisticated. <clears throat> and so you will hear what chord changes uh, this is based on. And it's technically based on two songs. I, I'll explain afterwards because I, I like it when people guess. Because I'm, I'm amazed. It's, you know, people, people often, often guess these things. So... Um, not really guess, but they hear, hear the changes. So. so this is called the tone of the room.
Thank you so much. That was the tone of the room. So those those of you who guessed it could probably also sense it from the title. So anybody, any guesses out there? There was a couple for a mellow tone. There you go. So yeah. so in a mellow tone is all is actually. Uh, as far as I know, the tune that came before it with the same changes is called Rose Room. That oh, was like somebody a big, mentioned that as well. Yeah, um, uh, Jimmy Lunsford did it. and um, Oh, David F. Russ. Yeah, but David is kind of encyclopedic in terms of his knowledge. He, he and I used to live behind Tower Records in Rockville, Maryland, and we spent all our money at Tower Records. And uh, now we don't buy records at all. <laughs> But he still he still has a lot of well we were buying CDs actually we were buying a lot of CDs at that point um, but uh, David still has a lot of vinyl I believe um, so John like you mentioned that maybe the descending thing at the end is from on a misty night <laughs> uh, subconsciously yeah that's I was yeah I was trying to figure it out myself what is this from <laughs> just descending major chords um, thanks for thanks for checking it out John. Um, so yeah, should we should we take a short break? Just no, just power through. We're gonna power through, everybody. Give the tunes to the people. Yes, give the people what they want. Um, any other good comments? Uh, any dislikes? Not that it's been charted in the comments yet, hmm. and we've actually stayed steady at sixty-five people, so that's a good sign. Great. Well, we're gonna keep playing then. We're going to, t for you. Now, I'm going to remind you again that we really appreciate, you know, your, your um, contribution to us. It's like our stimulus check. Not, I'm not saying it has to be $1,400, but, but. It can be. Uh, in, in, that, in that direction, yeah. I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd accept 1200 Okay. You know, so <laughs> I, have, I have a family to feed. It's mighty kind of you. Say what? 1200 and I get a free pizza. <laughs> yeah, right. You, I'll buy it too. Yeah, if you do twelve hundred, you get a free pizza. Even if you're in New York, we'll ship it to yeah, you. That's a good deal. American, ex you know, uh, <laughs> Federal Express. This is good pizza. <laughs> this is very good pizza. Now I I can't really eat pizza anymore, so I'll just have to live vicariously through my kids. I ordered a pepperoni pizza for them. Um, they love the pizza here. When this when we were doing things live, we would come here and get pizza and ice cream well they would eat pizza and ice cream i would just watch them do it they never wanted to stay for the music <laughs> they were always just like all right we got pizza and ice cream let's let's get out of here we're gonna do another uh new song and then we might end up with some old ones but this one uh also inspired by current events this is called fast forward to before now <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, you drove two people away on that one, I guess. I don't, I don't know what that means, but. Oh, no. Uh, you got some great comments on this one, though. Uh, Jimmy Palmaro wants to know if Dave paid you to talk about him tonight. Uh, J- uh, Jimmy Palmaro is, uh, is a, a new friend that I met uh, one of the last times I was in Brook- Brooklyn. H- him, and, him and David are always hanging out together. Jim- Jimmy is an inc- incredible poet, and... Uh, very interesting guy and he when i met him he uh, i mentioned that uh, chuck israels lives in in portland and he he went on and on about how he's in in this music appreciation class with chuck israels like in the 60s or something or maybe even 70s and uh he wanted me to make sure that that uh chuck chuck knew that he said hello so uh hey jimmy hope you're doing well um there's also some nice local uh drum love in the chat room Brian Foxworth says "Killing." Awesome. Hey, Brian. Uh, Jason Palmer said it was pretty a little couple of tunes ago. Carlton Jackson's here hanging out. Wow. So it's, it's uh, a room full of drummers. Jim Parkley <laughs> says, "Sounds great, Michael Rayner. It's always inspiring to hear you play." Thank you. Even if not great, Michael. Thank you. Michael sounds great. Give it up for Michael Rayner and Eric Groover on the bass. George Manley says Eric's smoking on the electric bass. Thank you. So a lot of love going around this chat room right now. Are there any questions? Uh, I think somebody asked about your haircut. I don't remember. I'd have to check back. <laughs> Who's whose haircut? I, I don't know. It just said, "How's your haircut?" And I don't. Who said that? I don't have to. I'd have to go look back. <laughs> Somewhere in there. I I actually haven't been to a barber since. I mean, there's not there's not much to to do. So I <laughs> so I've been doing it myself. I I bought like a like a a razor that a a barber would use and it worked for a minute and then it's sort of stopped working. I was getting frustrated. So I just used the, you know, the razor on my face. I just like shave it completely. There you go. The COVID S- cut. Th- there you go. The COVID mm-hmm. cut. So what do you guys want to do? What do you feel like from the list? Should we slow it down a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Let's do, this is an, this is a relatively, Hey man, thanks for, thanks for coming Alan. Um, congratulations. 
Alan just retired. Um, uh, this is a, a tune, and I'll, it's funny because I'm looking at my tunes, and, and a number of them are contrafacts, not all of them, but but this one actually is, but it wouldn't be readily noticeable. If anybody wants to guess, I don't think anybody's guessed yet, but um, this is a um, this is a newer tune. This is one of the tunes we were playing over the summer. This is called Golden Years. Hope you enjoy it. Golden Years. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. I heard that <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's that's Golden Years. And uh, let's see. Say what? Uh, let's see here. There's so many. I always I always have too many tunes. It really went by quick. I'm having a great time. I hope you guys are enjoying listening as much as I am playing. Because, as I said, we were doing a lot of gigs in the summer, but I haven't been doing any at all. Uh, so it's really good to be back and playing. Uh, what should we do? Um, you know what? Uh, is there is there any desire to do uh, rose colored glass? There is. Okay. There's desire. <laughs> There's desire. So, what we're gonna do? I'm just gonna play a little short solo piano. I hope you guys don't mind. I mean, no, you're looking a little tired anyway. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so I'm going to play just a little solo thing, and then we're going to go into something else. So this will be kind of a medley. Um, but I'll start out with, we're going to go into an original of mine, but this is called uh, Blood Count.
Thank you so much. Michael Rayner on the drums. Give it up for Michael Rayner on the drums. Eric Gruber on the bass. Give it up for Eric Gruber on acoustic and electric bass. And my name is George Colligan on the piano. And I really enjoyed playing. And I think we all enjoyed this gig. And hopefully I'll have some more soon. Um, as I said, I'm doing a live stream on the 26th from Randy Porter's studio kind of a live recording CD release. And thanks again to Left Door Streaming and to everybody who who uh, listened. And of course, we appreciate your, your uh, donations through PayPal and Venmo. And um, <laughs> I'm not going out on the street. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so uh, thanks again. And how, ma how many people are listening? You're at, uh, I mean, 56 right now. But, hey, it's good. You know, those are family members and other people watching with them, so there's probably 70. Yeah, 70 so I, I appreciate all listening. And, uh, you hope want to play another one and see if we can get it down to 50? <laughs> yeah, right. Now we're going to play some really weird stuff. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, and uh, we'll see you next time. Good night.